after World War II when I got out of service, I entered college, and during the summer vacations, uh, I worked as a counselor at a boys' camp up in Eagle River, Wisconsin, and one of the campers in my cabin was a young lad named Bobby Luckman. Visiting day came, and his father came. Who was it? It was Sid Luckman. Wow. Growing up in Chicago, I was a Chicago Bears fan, naturally, and uh, Sid Luckman was their quarterback. You had to see Sid Luckman play in order to believe how good he was. Sid Luckman was the first man to throw for over 400 yards in a game. He threw on that day seven touchdowns, a record that has never been broken. Average yards per attempt, only Otto Graham more than Sid Luckman. Touchdowns per attempt, he still ranks number one all time. He still holds almost all of the Chicago Bears passing records, even though all those years have passed and the Bears have had a long and wonderful history. The 1940 NFL championship game remains among Chicago's greatest moments. When, against the Redskins, Sid Luckman ran George Hallis's T-formation offense to perfection. Sid Luckman, as a quarterback, was the man who precipitated the T-formation. He's the man that made it work. 73 to nothing. The largest margin of victory in the history of the National Football League. Uh, and it was a great victory for them, and the, the town sure did celebrate. In 1943, Luckman set new NFL records for touchdown passes, passing yards, and passer rating. That year, one out of every seven passes he attempted went for a touchdown. Luckman's performance in 43 is still regarded as perhaps the greatest passing season of all time. And to think, Luckman might have improved on it had he not taken time out to serve his country. You are seeing the mighty bears for the last time. Ten of them are leaving for the nation's armed forces. Luckman's farewell to football for the war's duration. A touchdown pass to Clark. The bears win 41-21, and Luckman joins the U.S. Maritime Service with the best wishes of the entire world of sports. A letter from Hallis to Luckman showed the respect the coaching legend had for his star player. Coach Hallis was 88 years old, and he wrote me this letter before he passed away. My dear Sid, I love you with all my heart. 44 wonderful years of knowing you was summed up by seven words. My pride in you has no bounds. You were the consummate player. My devoted friend, you have a spot in my heart no one else can ever claim. God bless you and keep you, my son. I love, I love you, you with all, all my heart, heart George, George Hallis. It's touching now, even as I read it many years later. Sid Luckman, he is so well-renowned even today among those of us who know the game well. <laughs> 